is Alexander from Candy Dad, and I'm back with another beauty favorites of the month. June has been all about exam period, and I have been spending a lot of time prepping for my exams until the very night hours. So, what's been very essential for me this month has been all about skincare. Before I apply any eyeshadow on my face, I like to use this Emma S. Ageless Eye Cream. It's very light in texture and it keeps me hydrated throughout the day. I really like this product and I have been using it for many months now. So, Sumi and I have always wanted to invest in a really good um, skin essence, and we have heard a lot of really positive reviews about the SK2 brand. This is one of their most uh, recognized products. It's the facial treatment essence. The magic ingredients in this bottle is Pitera. I think that it was a really good investment because both Sue and I feel that our skin has changed drastically. And for day cream, I'm using Dior Sorbet Cream from the new Hydrolife collection. When I was prepping for my upcoming test, I rarely used any makeup. I just woke up, had breakfast, and went straight to uni to read for my exams. And I feel like this product was all I needed to feel fresh and hydrated throughout the day. It also has a texture that I wouldn't say is kind of like, it's not too thick, but it's not too light either. Of course, it's leaning towards the lighter side, but it makes me feel like I don't need to apply any more product on my face. After a long day, I like to go home and rinse my makeup straight away. And for that, I'm using the Dior Hydrolife Micellar Cleanser. What I really like about this product is that it is very easy to use. Just use a cotton pad and push it down on this bottle and you can just easily um, remove your makeup. I have used a lot of cleansers before that I feel like not really cleaning my face throughout. If it does, it kind of hurts or I feel like there's some excess makeup left. But with the Hydro Life Micellar Water, I generally feel like my makeup is rinsed and I feel fresh. So after my face is cleansed and ready to be prepped, I like to use a new product that I found in June, which is the Kiehl's Hydration Mask. It has aloe vera in it. When I apply it on, after a while, I feel like the mask is starting to kind of sting. I leave it on for about five minutes just to let that absorb into my face. After I'm done with the hydration mask, I'll go over to this little beauty right here, which is a overnight sleeping mask from Lancome. This is a product that I use every day, and I think that if all the products I have talked about now, this is one of my all-time favorites. It's very light in texture. It also has a really nice and refreshing scent to it. When I wake up the day after, I still feel that the product is still on my face and it really makes my skin radiant and glowing. So the last product that I want to show you guys is this Lancome Block Expert. It's a brightening essence. I actually tend to switch between the SK2 Miracle Water Essence. I do use this product more frequently and that is because I feel like with the SK2 facial water that it's very maybe it's too light for my liking um, when it comes to an everyday use but with the Lancome brightening essence I feel like it has more of a lotion feel to it so it's very likely for me to just wear this product and just go out the door and feel like that's enough coverage that I need for the day. So that's it for Candid's Beauty Corner. I hope you guys like the skincare products that I show you for June. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and do give our video a thumbs up. That will make us really happy. I'll catch you on the next Beauty Corner. Bye!